thanks for staying with us. So our next hot topic in a significant move to strengthen their fight against corruption. The Namibian government has reached out to Nigeria for assistance. They recently announced their intention to collaborate with Nigeria to enhance its anti-corruption strategies. According to them, they are drawing from Nigeria's extensive experience and success in tackling corruption. This singular move, according to them, has caused lots of mixed reactions among Nigerians themselves. Some say that we haven't even tackled our own. Why is another country asking us for assistance? What are your thoughts on this? And what can we, how can we help Nigerians to understand the reality on ground? You can call us on 081 0764 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Okay. This is also similar to what we discussed because we don't know our worth. We only see what we see on social media. I don't know how many of us actually work to EFCC to ask mm -hmm. them. What's the data mm. on how many convictions you've had, how many reports you've had? We don't know that. Well, based on what blog XYZ posts, Nigeria is corrupt. So in, in our own social media world, Nigeria should not be the person that you're coming to ask for help. But in the real um, sense of things, government to government, maybe there's something there that we don't see as Nigerians. But let me come to you, Amaka. What are your thoughts on this? Honestly, when I saw this, I, I just started laughing. I posted it to laughter. <laughs> Don't blame me. Because uh, they say you have to remove the uh, uh, speck in your eyes before you start removing log in other person's own. Now, not be so. How well are we fighting corruption in Nigeria? Let's be truthful to ourselves. I know that today we're not supposed to hear about our country, our beloved country, Nigeria. But truth be truth and truth be said. How well are we fighting corruption in Nigeria? Why, why are we where we are today? We don't have refineries that are working. Uh, everything is going wrong. Embezzled funds left, right, and center. Tiger and Python swallowing and chopping money. A lot of things. What are we teaching, going to teach another person when we've not finished teaching ourselves? When we've not finished fighting our own? Right, yo. Okay. There you go. go back. That is the no, no. Now, me be yourself. Is there something to you people? Don't you please do your research well before going to look for help? Obviously, but, they've done their okay, research. Let me come to you. <laughs> Obviously, they've done their research. And, you know, sometimes we look at, because we are. We, because Nigeria is so advanced and the expectations from Nigerians so high, we do not take cognizance of the okay, amazing achievements we've had. I have to announce to our yeah. viewers uh, for a second that we're actually mm. going to be disconnecting from the TBC News. Oh, okay. uh, Governor Chukuma Charles Soludo, CFR, will address the media on local government autonomy and other related issues this morning. So we're going to be cutting off from the news channel. We can continue to watch us on YouTube Live and on TVC Entertainment on Go TV and Star Times. Go ahead, talk about it. So um, there are little things that we do not understand or appreciate. I have been on TV and saying Nigeria doesn't have data. We don't have data. We don't have statistics. Until I had, I went to Abuja and I met with, I was at an event, an hotel, and they said the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics were doing, they had a, yes. their own training and they were in the same hotel. So we we're having lunch together and I was like, oh, yes. I say, oh yeah, um, we are with NVS. I said, people don't do anything. You don't have data. The woman schooled me. Mm. She said she's heard it and it is extremely annoying yeah. that they have spent years, they have data of every agri produce being exported, how we can work. Maybe the, the fact that the, the government or the agri ministry or some other people are not using their data does not mean that they don't have it, that they have data that is immense and can transform. Yeah. Any business can come and meet them and access the data to help the business plan. But yeah. we don't know. Yeah. We, we are quick to accept the negative news around us. We, we, people always say, why, do, why is Nigeria still struggling with petrol? But Kutonu's petrol comes from Nigeria. The fact that that even happens, it, the fact that they don't even have filling stations over there, that what we take for granted, you're seeing filling stations. Over there, the filling stations are not working. There are little things that we are doing. Our military strength, we take it for granted. Our military have so much strategy. But our mind would be like, the military has not been able to overcome Boko Haram. Who, who are they to talk? When they school other African countries on the strategies they have used, those African countries are like wowed. We have so many brilliant minds. Many, many documents, many things, even our way of fighting corruption right now. It's shocking to people that, so you mean that you are able to try? How many African countries have been able to try big let me, We let have me, five politicians, so talk, let we me have me. convicted them. We may not have convicted as many as we would like to convict, but we've convicted some. What and some wow. countries have not been able to do any in Africa. Because the countries are like one Messiah. So that person, you can't face him. So how did we build this system? Let me take this call for him. We've been holding for a while. 
Good morning from Abuja. Yes. Yes, you're live. Oh, I think we lost him. Oh, you're there. I need some volume, please. Go ahead. Uh -huh. she, she's talking of issue of corruption, corruption, corruption. Uh, let's talk the truth. The corruption itself is from Willie the Marquis. She, she is on the, on the TV screen. She's talking of corruption, corruption, corruption. The corruption is... Okay, sir, okay, sir. The corruption is, is within ourselves. She herself, if by, by venture today, she, has, she will be appointed to head any office. What will I say is something that she's going to do. The fact of the thing is this. If we say the, the, the leaders are not doing well, we can not criticize them. Let's pray to them. Let God have, let God change them. Mm. Myself, I am not a politician. I am not, my family is not a politician. I'm a government worker. I'm also suffering the way other person is suffering. But what okay. she's just saying is what she's just saying. She's not saying the, the, the right thing. Let's just pray for the others, okay. the, the, the so-called leaders. Let them change and let yeah. God change them. You know, that's let me, why, thank you. That's what is my contribution. Thank you very much, Mr. Marco. Um, let me shock Nigerians who are skeptical, who believe that oh, this is why would they Namibia, Namibia come to you? Do you know that many countries in Africa also they are looking to us to help them. Um, regularize and put a structure in their, their own INEC, their own version of yes, ele no, electoral, okay. elect electoral reforms. Mm -hmm. They believe that many of that, 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 that the electoral reform is totally, um, they, they need the kind of structure Nigeria has. So many of them are asking INEC to train them. They've been going across Africa to see how they can help them even put the beavers in place in that their countries take, okay. that we take for granted here. Mm -hmm. So the truth is that maybe these countries, maybe, maybe these agencies are not doing enough. Because we see what NDLA is doing. I mean, although that we're having some issues now recently, but we see NDLA back to back. Nobody in Nigeria knows that uh, NDLA, at least that we've seen them arresting they're and them. They're catching them. But we don't see much of EFCC. Mm. We don't hear much of um, um, ICPC, the arrest. We, we hear of arrest, but we don't hear of convictions. Mm. And when they're convicted, we don't even hear, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't review exactly. on how that they're still there because some of them are finding that they're staying in, in apartments. Thank you. That they are being smuggled out or there's a prison break somewhere. Yeah. We get this thing. So I understand the cynicism mm. from Nigerians. I get that. But should we give ourselves some grace? Maka? So for me, right, um, like from what the caller said, he, he, he was, you know, you're talking about let's pray our politicians. Let's pray for God to come down and help our politicians. God is not the answer to everything. We're human beings. We know what is right and what is wrong. If you're in, a poli if you're in political office, you know what is right and what is wrong. How many Nigerians even pay tax? Let's start from that. Uh -huh. Do you understand? Let's That's also talk about that. Yeah, because it goes, it, it cuts across. That's exactly. And most Nigerians don't want to pay tax because they feel that the little one that they pay in terms of even their VAT, the government, the government is not using it. They're squandering it. They're telling it that monkey uh, or python swallowed one. Was it? There, there's yeah, no why do we keep going no, back no, to yeah, this no, python yeah, and yeah, snake matter? Yes, mother. because that's because it is sad that in our. In our country, the big Nigeria, the giant of Africa, that monkey and python is swallowing. It is you know embarrassing. That I was I was on a plane, right, back to Nigeria, and there was a woman who has not been in Nigeria forever. Yeah. And she was just going on going, So mm. why do you live in Nigeria or in the UK? I said, mm. No, I live in Nigeria. What are you still doing in that country? Mm. She was very, very condescendingly yeah. uh, to talking to me like, What are you still doing in that country? And I'm thinking, Ah, yeah. where can I go? I'm in Nigeria, and that's my country. Yeah. Ah, the, the, the airports are horrible. Mm. Yeah, she was going, she was going back to snake and uh, uh, snake. All these things. Uh, uh, all the narrative we've been regurgitating mm -hmm. and reposting and yeah. resharing, and that's the gist. Mm. When she yeah. entered the Muri Tala International mm. Airport, the new one mm -hmm. where there was air conditioner, she was shocked. Mm. Eh, there's AC. Eh, the line. Mm. We, they were not delayed for more than ten minutes at the immigration. Mm. She was done. When I now saw her, the baggage claim. Mm. Eh, ah, I'm shocked too. So I'm like, you are still re, um, re, reinforcing, re, reinforcing the, the, the stories of yesterday. The I said, Nigeria will move forward. You keep talking. Be Why you is your gisting, grid still collapsing? When you are gisting with your friends, keep yeah. talking about the Nigeria of the old. Keep, yeah. keep gisting. That's your business. Mm -hmm. We, that we are here, mm -hmm. we are moving forward. And we'll continue to talk about the new things. So, let, so Nigeria will be in two parts. Mm -hmm. Those of you that choose the negative and want to stay there, and those of us who are seeing the silver lining and seeing Mariah, how I move back. Mariah, I moved back from Obodo Yipo. Yes. Because I, I believe in Nigeria. Mm. 
I had a choice not to live in Nigeria. Yeah. But I chose, I made a choice. I carried my luggage. Yes. I moved back here because I believe in Nigeria. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Our parents were sold the way they sell the American dream. Our yeah. parents were sold Nigerian yeah. dream after the war. Yeah. And that is why most of our parents that studied yeah. abroad came back to Nigeria. Because yes. they believed in Nigeria. They believed that when you come, when you, you're, you're working, everything, you, 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 you're given an apartment, everything happens, your, your, the, the government and system supports you to grow as a family. You know that from year to year, there's, there's pensions. Most of our parents worked so hard, their pensions are still, they're still in courts right. over their pensions and stuff. Do you understand? But I believe in Nigeria, but that doesn't mean that I will not say the truth of, right. of the Nigeria, of the reality of the Nigeria yeah. of today. Yeah. Let me take, I'll come to you, so just give me a second. Yeah. Let me take this call, I've been holding for a while. Good morning, thanks for calling. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. You see, let's, uh, let, let, me, let me contribute to this, uh, to your contribution. To, to yes. Your, to your, to your Number yes. one, you see, uh, let me start with, uh, you know, Malaysia came to Nigeria to collect our palm kernel. Palm kernel, yes. And they are the, uh, today, they are the highest producer. Yes. You see, that's one. Number two, you see, we in, we in Nigeria, we don't, we, don't see, we don't see good of ourselves, but to the outsiders, the yes. people who know us. I think some of us have said that a good program in this country, like you said, look at our NTLA, we are performing. Look at our ICTC, our, what's it called, our, uh, our what's it called, ESCT, we are because of some uh, political powers behind all these things. Our military today, I'm telling you, those days, our, our, our military today, Echo American Bank, came, Leone, to, yeah, no. America came to, to Nigeria to study yeah. our ground fighting, ground fighting. Over, all, all, all over America, they came to Nigeria to come and study the way Nigerian fight ground battles. Yeah. We are good. It's because we don't yeah. know our values. That is yeah. why. Thank you. But those that know the value. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. So so I agree that there are challenges. And I agree that we might struggle with implementation. Mm. But Nigeria is a... We, we, are, we have ideas. Mm. So many amazing ideas. The pound that he mentioned... That palm was produced in Nigeria. Like it was, the innovation was, in NIFO decreated the palm. Like we took our local palm and I made it hybrid and made it to the form that it was so good that Malaysia came to collect it, that we did not make that palm produce hybrid. Ourselves. Ourselves turn into massive export. Does not mean we did not have the idea. Mm. So the Malaysia came and collected this idea yeah. and made it into something big. Yeah. Now maybe I can come and say this corruption system, we have the system, yes. but the Nigerian intelligence is so good that we would, we, we we would sabotage, sabotage it the ourselves. system. God bless you. But we are innovative in yes. making amazing systems. God bless you. As in, our systems are so nice yes. that in other countries where the intelligence of the people are not so much, eh, we would have, our country would have been like, uh, it, would have been, it would have been heaven on earth. Yes. But the intelligence but is so good. But the Nigerians, we will now, which is why we will find one good system. Which is why the I wish thing. YK was here. Because me, I would like to take YK on this one. Yes. Because it is the, so we have the system. Yes. But the Nigerians, mm. including the leaders and us, yes. we sabotage it. Ordinary ETA, the electronic call up system yes. that is for, 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 they for, 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 made, for they to We brought thing. technology to fix a problem. And we Nigerians, we're still trying to call somebody to let them know to surpass. Don't go and kill, wait for them. Somebody just call you to come, come and bring your truck. And that totally uh, causing a clog in the system. Raya, when you, when you were consulting with um, Lagos State Education Ministry and you went to Edo, and you yes. came back and you were saying, Edo is, doing, Edo is doing, I found it hard to believe mm. because I had a perception of what Edo looks like and what Edo is doing. Yet, despite all of that, the Edo State Government were, was able to come up with an innovative approach to the educational sector of their state. Mm. And they had results to show. But if you still talk to anybody in Edo State today, about the education, they were saying nothing is working. Yet Lagos went, the, a, a whole Lagos, that's what they, a whole Lagos went to Edo yeah. to say, this system you are doing works. And they were able to bring it into their own state. So we can have an idea that works, but our, we, we don't make it effective. Mm. Doesn't mean it cannot work somewhere yeah. else. Let me take Amunike. Thanks for calling your live, Amunike. Uh, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, I think uh, you people are doing a wonderful work. Thank you, sir. Yeah, um, the issue in question about corruption, Nigerians are really working. I think what we, the problem we are facing is not really corruption in fair as it is. The problem is that our system needs to be, to be, strength, to be, strength, to be strengthened. You know, our system like the police, the judiciary, and the civil service, civil servants. 
That is what we need. And then the orientation, who should be giving the orientation? If somebody is a Nigeria, there must be something that is a collectively common among us that makes us a Nigeria. That this is where Nigeria begins. When it comes to saying the truth, this is what Nigeria is. When it comes to war, this is what is. We need to harness our energy. If you see, if you see individual Nigerians or group of Nigeria or company, what they are doing, yeah. you'll be amazed it's at that level. Yeah. So what we need to do is to harmonize this, our talent. It's not that if corruption is yeah. everywhere, but if we set it a institution that fight corruption by giving people the right, uh, maybe, uh, the right reward or punishment yeah. when, when you don't do the right. For example, you see our leaders, as high as they are, if they go to UK, if they use a tissue paper, they don't throw it on the floor because there are repercussions. But when they come to a place, you see them in the city station, they will, eat, they will eat a bunch of banana and throw the whole bunch on the street. Yeah. Why? Because the system is not apprehending them or, yeah. or, or yeah. working. But if our system is working, we harmonize what is in Nigeria. Yeah. You know, it goes back to our educational system. You know, we, we educate people here in Nigeria. We give them the raw data, mm. raw information. Yet, mm. many of them are not useful. But that same Nigerian will go to ordinary UK here and the skill, the, the requisite knowledge he already has to maybe take a new course prepares him so that he becomes an A student in whatever course he chooses to, to, to be. And then he flies. And we're thinking, these are the same Nigerians. Mm. So we have the information. But the truth is that we are not able to interpret that information to, be, to the usefulness of our society. Thank you. So we are... Yes, Amaka. So let me say, um, as, in, as in for me, <laughs> uh, let me say these two points, make, make these two points, and then for me, there's nothing else to stay on this matter, because one, Moreo, mm. both of you have kids. Mm. Will you send your children to a school where they have, where they have, a, 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 where, they tell, where they have structure, and they tell that they have, this is, they, they have uh, this curriculum, this, that, that, but there's no implementation, and mm. your kids are not doing well, and they're failing in school. Will you change your, your children's school? Will you still go to that school, take your children to that school that you're not getting results, one? Two, so, as a business owner and business uh, uh, guru, uh, will you, when you want to do business, and we have mentors, we usually preach in business seminars that you should look, go to people that, have that, that have results, mm. not just ideas. Mm. Anybody can have an idea, mm. not just structures in place. Mm. Results. Mm. So, if you don't have results, you cannot come and preach anything to me. You cannot come and tell me. Our result, Amaka, is that we are not, so, as a country... Are we at a point, I appreciate the fact that we've got to certain things right, but are we at a point in, the, in, 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 as in, in, in fighting corruption in a country where we want to start teaching and educating other people on what to do when we don't really have Amaka, as a, what, what is our the percentage let me give of you, our results? Let me give you one result. We have, not, we have not disintegrated as a nation. Okay. That is a major and, result. And, and Many and countries... And, and, the, uh, and the IPOP and everything. We, and we, the, have, the not at home. we have not disintegrated. Okay. We are still one nation. There are some so, countries that have not gone through a quarter so, and they have gone to pieces. So I, 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 I hear you result. and I really, really agree because you need to follow those that have evidence. But ah, there's yeah. another school of thought in Can this. Can I pause you? Okay. I think I have a caller. Good morning. Mm. Are they from London? What? Are they... Thanks for calling your life. Go ahead, you? please. Very well. Go ahead, please. Mm. Okay. Uh, my view mm. on this issue is that Nigeria is the best country you can live in. I'm telling you. But you're living in London. Uh, what is that? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. Uh, what, what I'm, nobody, not of us, most especially my age, mm. want to live in England. We want to... Even though our children don't want to, they don't want to go or whatever, but we want to live in here. But the problem is that is the system, which is the security, the health. But I don't need to leave my house before I order my position, my school, or do whatever. But when we get to Nigeria, is the security because we go to cost a lot of money for security. That's what nobody likes. Who wants to stay here? Me. Everybody knows that I complain too much because where you go outside, nobody say good morning, sir. Nobody <laughs> talk to you. They just ignore you, enter bus or two. Nobody stand up for you. So it's irritating, okay. unlike in my country. Yeah. You understand? So Nigeria okay. is still the best. God will bless Nigeria and give us good leaders in All Nigeria. Right. Thank you very much, Ade. Talk so I, well, I agree with you. We need to have follow people that have evidence. You know, I always I, I talk about it. That you have to show me the workings. I'm not going to just follow you because you are motivating me. Mm -hmm. However, the, it is, it's wisdom for you to be able to learn. Even, they say, um, Solomon said, learn from the ants. 
You look at the ant. This, you say this ant is small, I can just match it and it will die. But there's something to learn from what the ant is doing. I'm not going to say that the Nigerian system is working. The Nigerian system is not working. The, the, the ideas are plenty. White paper, many documents that committee our, our system. The beavers that, that people, everybody around Africa is saying, we want to do this, got invalidated it. So there are many issues that we are dealing with. But we have amazing ideas. And it is wisdom for a country to say, this country might not have figured it out, but I can collect this idea. Um, Dr. Lumide says that he has made more money from his failures than his successes because he will tell you how the things that he failed and he will do a course, how you should not fail in real estate. And we'll go there and listen to all the things, how we lost so much money, and now we know we will not do all of these things. So you can come to Nigeria and think that Nigeria has no value, but a wise person will come and say, so I your politician, I will learn from all your mistakes. We will call ourselves out. I'm not, I'm not yeah. going to sit down and make it look like, I, I'm, say, geez, Niger, I, petrol is over 1,100 right yeah. now. Mm. Who, who, who would say that is working? Mm. Who would say that is working? It is not. They are on a journey. I'm praying they have the best in terms yeah. of our leaders, mm. but I am personally always going to speak positively about my country. There, there's something I want to say, but I, 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 Toko, you're able to get, you're, you're able to understand where I'm trying to go. So, so hope you help me to read, to interpret it to Nigerians, because let me just say it from my, from my head. So I want to call out Nigerians too. Because I know Amaka said earlier that she wanted to buy suya spice. Mm. And that before, she used to buy it for 700 naira. Mm. Now, she bought it for 4,000 naira. Is it possible that Nigerians, we don't really pay, pay for the real value for Nigerians? The 700 naira you're giving the, 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 the aboki, do you think that can pay his bills? Mm. Do you think that can send his child to school? Do you think the Mishai guy, that you're, that you're happy that you can buy Mishai? There are people there abroad that will tell you, ah, I need cheap labor in Nigeria. Please, can you get me somebody who can be doing my social media, you know, pay, pay them 50K? Do you think that 50K can pay their, life their, their, their own lifestyle? Mm -hmm. Why don't you pay the real value? The kind of money you pay somebody in the UK mm -hmm. to do it. Why don't you do the same thing? So the point I'm trying to make is that we are also part of the problem. Mm -hmm. We in Nigerians, the reason why we never see us good in ourselves is because we don't see ourselves as counterparts. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'll talk down on Nigeria because I feel like I'm better than a certain level, and these ones I can I can pay them 700 naira, I can pay them 200 naira, they'll be okay. But at this level, I don't I know I don't see them in that level. So we never really talk good about ourselves. Mm. We, maybe we begin we start maybe when we start giving ourselves the real value for who we are, mm -hmm. then maybe we can start seeing things differently. But no, value, I'm not blaming you. No, I know, I know, I know. But the value that you put on yourself is not my job or anybody's job so, to, to, to teach anybody in terms of pricing. Mm -hmm. If you put a value on yourself or a value on, if you come to, for me to employ you, and I have a certain, uh, 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 whatever, uh, um, money, that I say salary, that as a company that wants to pay for a position, and then we pay mm -hmm. you. But then, if you, when in terms of pricing, I'm not going to teach anybody how to price. If I come to your store or whatever to pick up something, mm -hmm. and that's the price of value you think this is, because of based on how much you're using to produce it and to make it, and you feel that that is the right pricing, then that is it. It's not on me to tell you what to do or what not to do. Mm. Okay, we, I, have, I, we have I, to wrap up on this. Any comments on social media? We need to oh, move on. Plenty. Let's take a few comments. Ah, Ooh, Okakola, come back to Nigeria. If Nigeria is the best. <laughs> That's what they were talking to, saying to Ade. Um, Christian John says there are two different issues here. Do we have ideas and plan? Yes. Are they working for us? No. Why? Corruption. I understand Mariah doesn't want um, um, like hearing bad things about Nigeria. Not necessarily. We, we, are, we are all in Nigeria together. He said Nigeria, but the fact is right now, Things are bad. Yeah. Um, what brought us here? Corruption. Should we be optimistic and speak mm. positively? Yes, totally. But the truth is those, um, th that those things that... Mm, the truth is those things are supposed to be used positively. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me take a comment from Emmanuel Ovice. So Ovice said, wicked government made, the, made increments on, on wage, but inflated everything else, making workers suffer more. Mm. Um, who else here? Somebody said, um, they are wicked for real. They don't have any sympathy for the citizens. Is it, yeah, another one says, I'm trying to find more comments here from TikTok. I understand the difference is clear, but God will help us in this country. In, and then um, Dr. Um, Emmanuel also said, Dr. Idris say it to their faces, not paint it on air, making them feel we're okay. I didn't get that. Yeah. But the point is that I think we have to wrap up on this because our guest is here. But generally, Namibian government has come to us for help just as many other con countries are coming to Nigeria for help on different things that we have no clue about. Mm. So I think we should see this as an indication that there's something we're doing right. Mm. And we should amplify that and be happy about that. Now, the ones that we're doing wrong, we our tell it to each other. Our leaders too should help us to fix that. Mm. And we also find our... You know, what I always say is that find the part you are playing mm. in this, in this, um, in the problem. In, in, in in this the problem, problem the yeah. and begin to find a solution because we are all part of the problem. And I think I, I would like to wrap up with that.
Let's go on a short break. When we come back, we're bringing our guest. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.